So guys, in this video we are talking about color correction in post and why it is so important and why it is totally different than color grading coming up. Hey guys, my name is Paul. I'm from Germany. You might have already noticed my German accent. Anyway, on this channel we are focusing on tech reviews as well as filmmaking. So if you are interested in that, consider subscribe. In today's video we are talking about color correction in post, ever as I've already announced. And without further ado, let's jump in right into the computer. So here to my timeline I have two clips. This one looks way better than the other one. This one here uh, I set the exposure a little bit off and also the white balance because that's all what color correction is all about. Color correction is basically about right color balance and right exposure so that you have a good basement for color grading. So color correction is always the basement for your color grading. And color grading on the other hand is more like your creative choice how your footage should look like. But how we can correct or con how, how we can check if our footage is properly exposed and also color balanced. Well, so um, as I've mentioned already before in my last video, um, a gray card is very helpful. So therefore uh, for the first frames in my shot I just hold it in front of the camera. And what I'm doing right now is just going here to opacity and just draw a simple mask like so. Then I'm opening my Lumetri scopes <laughs> and uh, yeah. So as we can see here, um, we have a little bit of bluish into a um, little bit more blue into um, our colors here, just a little bit. So I just um, yeah warm it up about five here from the Lumetri panel, and it looks like it was too much. So I set it to two. Yeah. That looks better, but as we can see right here, um, actually um, this one, the gray card, should always be representing 40 IRE for correct exposure, and we have a, a, about 35, so we have to um, increase our exposure. So let me just drag that up until it's good. Right about here, let's set it to 0 0.6 and yeah, that looks good. So that's actually already it. So now we have, um, and also here from um, the saturation from this color panel here, we see that we don't have a shift. Um, into the blues or reds or whatsoever. So that means that our clip is properly exposed now and properly color balanced. And uh, that's going back and deleting the mask. And that's what we have right now. And that's what we, what my first clip was, where I properly exposed and color balanced everything. But let's ju just for checking, just let's have a look if this looks good as well. So again, I draw my mask and I go into my Lumetri scopes. Here, um, the exposure is a little bit too. Yeah, it's actually not that bad, but. Let's pull it to. Let's pull it a little bit under. So uh, minus. Yeah, that one looks better. And also here from the color balance, it is. It looks very good. So what we are doing right now is going back to our effects and just deleting the mask and now we have two very very similar clips but as we can see our footage looks a little bit too flat and that was what I did on purpose so it's a little bit flat and to have a good 
um, and now we have to transform it into a standard picture profile which would be rec 709 so in that we just gonna do by simply um, adding more contrast to the footage like so and it looks uh, looks way better now from my perspective and I just drag up the the dynamic here to about 30 and as we can see I think we did a pretty good job here so that's basically it that footage now can be taken for color grading and now you can apply your specific color shifts or whatever but always you should uh, have a good basement for starting out and just this one we can also um, apply a little bit of contrast here and also a little bit of dynamic and then we have also from this perspective um, the same clip basically so guys that was my video about color correction in post i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did so please hit the thumbs up button below and consider subscribe by the way all the gear that i use is linked down below if you want to support this channel i really would appreciate that and yeah just check out my other videos as well and in the next future i will do more tutorials like that see you